Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Ben. Now, you may have heard that on Friday, last Friday, September 1st, which was Force Friday, where a lot of new merchandise for the new movie, The Last Jedi, was released, uh, details of Snoke's Super Star Destroyer have been made public. This was in an app, a droid app, uh, and it's only a little section, a little picture, and a little description of it uh, has been made public. The new uh, mega class Super Star Destroyer called the Supremacy. Uh, and this is the new Star Destroyer that's gonna be in the movie The Last Jedi that uh, Supreme Commander Snoke is gonna be using. This kind of uh, crushes the little theory that uh, Snoke was gonna be on the Eclipse and it was hiding out in the unknown regions. Uh, that's now quashed because we've seen this new uh, flying wing style Super Star Destroyer. It's kind of similar to uh, the US Stealth Bombers or kind of like that flying wing plane that was in the Captain America movie a few years ago. And the wingspan of this, uh, of this flying wing ship, is 60 kilometers. That's 37 miles. Now, in the description, the app actually says length 60 kilometers, uh, but it's been confirmed that this is actually referring to the wingspan, just the longer side. So it's actually the width, but you know, whatever. Wingspan. Um, Pablo Hidalgo from the uh, Star Wars Lucasfilm Story Group confirmed that on Twitter that it is wingspan, and he shared this image, which showed it uh, shows the Star Destroyer up next to some of the previous Star Destroyers, and you can see its uh, length. Uh, sorry, its width is three times the length of uh, Darth Vader's Executor class Star Destroyers from the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and it's 21 times uh, the length of the Resurgent class uh, Star Destroyer, the finalizer that was in The Force Awakens. Now let's compare it to a few real things. So the island of Manhattan in New York City is 13.4 miles long. So that means that this new Star Destroyer, the Supremacy's wingspan, is three times the length of Manhattan. So if it flew over New York City, it would basically cover the entire city. Now I don't know if it can enter an atmosphere. I'm guessing it probably can't, but you know, you never know. But if it could, you'd have a sort of Independence Day uh, kind of situation where a massive spaceship enters and can basically hover over an entire city. Now if you live over in the UK, uh, let's compare it to the size of London. So if it flew over London, its wings would stretch past the M25, that's the ring road, the motorway that surrounds London, it would, its wingspan would stretch past the M25 on either side of it, flew over the city, it would basically cover the entire central area, east and west London, with just a little bit north and south uh, over there. Now, if it flew over the English Channel, it would be longer than the Strait of Dover between the UK and France, which is only 20 miles long, uh, so it'd be much longer than that, and you could basically, if it landed over the Strait of Dover, you would be able to walk from the UK to France by uh, walking through the ship. I guess, well, you, you wouldn't walk. I guess there's cars or trains running inside it. You're not going to walk 60 kilometers, are you? But anyway, its wingstand stretches the distance between the UK and France, which is pretty impressive. Now let's compare it to some other stuff from Star Wars. Well, uh, the obvious example being the, the biggest construction ever in Star Wars, the Death Star. Um, its wingstand gives it about a size of being about half as wide as the first Death Star. So that's 60 kilometer wingspan. First Death Star around 120 kilometers, something like that. I don't know if there's gonna be a super weapon uh, associated with this ship yet. Um, you know, all we've seen so far is just this very small description in the app uh, and this, uh, this uh, photo. There is actually going to be another ship which was revealed in the same app, a Mon Calamari ship uh, called the Radus, which is also very exciting, obviously uh, named after Admiral Radus. Uh, in fact, Pablo Hidalgo joked uh, that the uh, the profoundity, Admiral Radus's ship, before he'd come up with a name for it, he took to calling it the Radisson after the hotel chain. Well, now we do actually have a ship called the Radus, uh, named after Cap uh, Admiral Radus, who basically saved the day in that battle, the Battle of Scarif, by calling on that hammerhead Corvette to ram into that Star Destroyer, uh, so that's obviously commemorating him, this new Mon Calamari ship that's uh, probably going to be featured uh, in The Force Awakens, and in fact, in the trailer we do see uh, someone, we do see Princess Leia on the bridge of what looks like probably a Mon Calamari ship, with someone looking similar to Admiral Akbar in the background, so I'm guessing perhaps this is on board the Radis. So guys, what do you think about this new Super Star Destroyer and these new ships revealed in the toy releases and app releases for Force Friday? Uh, leave your comments below. Please subscribe to our channel if you're new. We release four Star Wars related videos every week. Give this video a like and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.